Hello, and thank you for being here with us today, Mr. Carl Seaback. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thanks very much for having me here. Uh, I am a, a born and raised Bramptonian. My family moved to Brampton uh, in the 1960s, and uh, I'm married. I have two children. I went to Aloha Public School and Mayfield High School in Brampton, and currently uh, I'm a lawyer practicing in Brampton. What made you decide to run for Member of Parliament for Brampton West, and why the Conservative Party? I've, I've wanted to be involved in politics since I was 14 years old. My friends always had other things that they wanted to do, but this has been a lifelong uh, ambition of mine because I really believe that through politics you can serve, and you can serve your community well. So that's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to contribute, want to make the lives better for the people uh, in the great city of Brampton, and that's why I've decided to do this. Uh, the Conservative Party just makes sense for so many reasons. Uh, we're the party of lower taxes for people. We believe that you should have your money, not the government, because we believe that people know how to spend their money better than the government. And that's a fundamental difference between our party and the Liberal Party. Liberals believe that they should tax people, take their money, and redistribute it into programs that they think will work. We think people know how to spend their money better. And so for me, I think the choice is clear in Brampton West. Why do you feel the Conservative Party is best for Brampton West? You've touched a little bit on that, but is there anything else? Uh, we need a voice in the government. For far too long, we have had Liberal representation in Brampton West, and for the last five years, as opposition members. It's very difficult to get things done for Brampton when you're sitting on the opposite side of the House of Commons and just shouting and criticizing the government. We need a constructive voice, a Conservative voice, in a conservative government because that's how we're going to be able to get things done for the people in Brampton. And if you become a member of Parliament, how can you fulfill the needs of the community? Hard work. What I hear over and over again when I talk to people, and I, I go out and knock on doors eight to ten hours a day, not only during the election but in between elections as well. People have lost touch with their elected representatives. They don't feel they know who they are and they don't feel they're being represented. One of my personal platforms in this election is to hold a town hall style meeting every other week, 26 times a year, in the, all the various areas of my riding to make sure that people have the chance to come out, talk to me about whatever issue they're concerned about, and then I can take those issues back to Ottawa, back to the government, and say, here are the things that need to get worked on for the people of Brampton West. What is the population mix like in your electoral district and how do you plan to win them over? It's, you know, it's wonderfully diverse. We have such an incredible multicultural mosaic in Brampton and in Brampton West in particular. People ask me what's my strategy to win over diverse communities. There's no strategy because in the end we're all the same. And I go house to house talking to people. I sit down, uh, maybe we have tea or I go for a barbecue and in the end Every Canadian wants the same thing. They want a safe community. They want good paying jobs. They want to be able to practice religious freedom. These are all the things that we all hold common together amongst us. And so what I do is talk, I listen, and I make sure that people know that they're going to have a voice. And I think that's the same whether you're Filipino, Tamil, uh, Portuguese, Punjabi. In the end, we're all the same. We want the same things. And a big part of that is good representation. And finally, what would you like to say to our audience and the people of Brampton West? I think we've got a real choice in this election, and I've talked about it many times. We have uh, serious issues in this election. On the one side, we have the opportunity to have a stable, conservative majority government, a low-tax government that will make our communities safer. And on the opposite side, we have a liberal bloc NDP coalition. They say there won't be a coalition, but past behavior is the best predictor of future behavior. In the last election, they said there will be no coalition. Three weeks after the election, they were already planning to form a coalition. We have to avoid that, and we need a stable conservative majority government. So on May the 2nd, please vote for Kyle Seaback in Brampton West.